Hello, Cosmo World. This is Knives Rant number nine, and we're gonna do acrylic today. Now, this is about my third time trying to do this video, but it comes with uh, a wrapping on it most of the time, and you peel it away. The purpose of that is to keep the finish nice and new. Now, the reason why I'm not bringing you a new one is because uh, this one I already heated and shaped. Works the same way. You turn your heat gun on. Heats up. Takes a long time. Um, so long, in fact, that it kept making my videos run long. I need to keep these under 15 minutes. Uh, otherwise, I don't know how to upload them. I'm sure there's a way, but because I'm sure I've seen videos longer than 15 minutes. Anyway, so I'm gonna have to cut time by doing that. It just peels away, and you have a clean finish. You want to keep that on until you're ready to use it. Now, one thing that happens when you overheat it are these little bubbles. If you don't evenly heat it and you overheat it too much, you get these little bubbles. They kind of look cool, but sometimes you, or most of the time, you don't want that effect. I, I sometimes like that effect, especially when you got the different colored material. It looks looks nice, I think. Um, uh, this is the saw I keep bringing out, but I like the saw because it cuts through this material uh, easier than any other saw I come across. You just kind of put a nick in it, and then you use it as a nick as a pilot, and you just go on in. Um, this looks hard because I'm steadying myself on my knee. You probably want to steady yourself on, um, I don't know, just this, the knee is not the steadiest thing. It, does, it cuts through it, you know, not too bad. If you have the big wide saws, that's more drag on the blade and more work and more material you need to remove. Uh, it's not so easy. Yeah. Um, this stuff is more or less like glass, like if I bent it I'd snap it, but I don't want to do that in case I have to make another sh shot at this video, I don't want to cut it again. Um, what I was doing was, I'm snapping bits off of this piece, and you get little shards like this. This is one millimeter, that's about four millimeters. Yeah, it just breaks, breaks pretty easy, no, no problem. Um, actually, how about I cut this a little deeper and I'll snap this off. But, yeah, it's like glass. You don't, you don't want to put too much stress on it. You don't want to drill into it, um, directly with a screw. It'll, the screw will probably put pressure on the plastic and then break that and cause cracks and things like that. Come on, careful, careful, careful. Not too, there we go. Not too bad, kind of clean. Uh, it's got a rough edge on it. You might want to go in there with the file and file it down and make it clean if you were get something like that. So, <sighs> this stuff is for heavier decorative bits that you may need to support something else. This is still um, in a big sheet. And a sheet like this is still strong enough to support uh, other floating cosplays. If you have something you want to float, and you think wire would not work? This in a big old sheet. Um, they they come in home improvement sections in two by four sheets sometimes, and different sizes. But there's a whole t list of them. Uh, and this would be good to support that that um, that thing you want to float in the air. I made tons of die hack stuff where they've got floating orbs and things like that. Where I just stick a, a sheet of acrylic in there and then glue a glue whatever orb to both sides and it'll float there. Eh. Ah. Looks super pretty. Uh, now, you may be saying, this is really hard to work with. It's fragile. Why would you use this material? Um, that's because it's pretty. It is the pretty. It's all so pretty. It is pretty work. You get a consistent look. You get the same kind of um, ding effect with the with the more sturdy acrylics. If it's dings, it's, it's still silver underneath. It's... They may be cracked a little um, with this, but this stuff takes things pretty well. There's different mixtures and different, uh, it's all sorts of different kinds of acrylic. You'll, once you get working with them, you'll, you can definitely feel the difference. Um, this is the kind of acrylic I use for uh, bladed items, because this is a good gunmetal color. I don't know if the camera's picking up very well. And it's not so realistic as you, you'll have problems with security at your local convention or, say, the police. So I don't want to get... I usually don't want to get that realistic. 
Um, although I know how. <laughs> anyway, you can see that it doesn't. It takes a lot more work to do internal cuts. That is, cuts that you can't enter in from the outside. You have to start from the inside and then work your way around. It takes a lot more work. I had to take um, a soldering iron and I put a little pilot hole, pilot path. Um, I just melted the plastic and made a little path all the way around. Then I came in there with a um, a cir uh, circular saw bit for my Dremel. It's like it's a little, it's just like a little circular saw, except it fits on your Dremel. And it's like that big. I came in there and went vroom, and started working in deeper. I never finished it because the person I make it made it for um, decided they didn't really care, so I wasn't gonna finish it. They weren't gonna use it. Yeah. Um, and he, it's it, this side needs more sanding. This is an example of it melting here. If you use your power tools, you're going to want to do, do it slowly. Don't rush the job. If you rush the job, the whatever you're cutting the plastic with is going to get hot. And if it gets hot, it's going to melt the plastic. And when that plastic recools down, it's just going to solidify right back into the place you just cut, and you just wasted a whole lot of time doing this. So, if even if you have to cut a little bit of time, you go around. Go around, go around, deeper and deeper until you get all the way through. That's what I was doing. Makes for less work. Um, and then, you know, you file it down with your standard kind of file. Not your finger file, a regular metal file. Um, this stuff can be heated up. This would make an excellent visor if I were to heat it up and form it around a face. Very, uh, very nice. It's, um, this stuff is thermo uh, formable. You can make a kind of a round shape, but it's much harder to work with to do that. Um, I make no guarantee that you will have to accept success with that. Um, you can, uh, as you see, you can bend it and stuff like that. Painting this, uh, I was using this as a um, a palette, like artist palette, to mix the color, and I was using fingernail polish to color my particular work. There is Krylon spray paint uh, that can do the same kind of job. Krylon makes stuff for plastic. It's awesome. If you need a specialty color uh, and you still want it to be clear, um, they have some clear metallic work. Yeah. Um, if you need um, a opaque color, like a red, I wouldn't do it in acrylic because it's so much harder to work with. I would do it in PVC or another material that's uh, easier to work with or cheaper or something. Uh, honestly, uh, what else is there? Um, acrylic paint, your standard acrylic paint that you would paint your wood props with, don't work. They kind of peel off very easily. And when you have a clear acrylic, if you sand it up, that's going to show. And if you put your paint over it, that's probably going to show still. Um, so. I would probably only paint on clear acrylic if I have a screen or something and there has to be some sort of um, decorative bit on it. Put it just, I'll glue that right on. Or I'll paint that on it. Um, they do, of course, have a clear acrylics and they have transparent acrylics. They have all kinds of different colors. And you can glue those together. Uh, acrylic has a special glue just like the. Uh, PVC, it's called uh, well, IPS I use weld on number 3, like the last uh, PVC is 2007, this is 3, use number 3 it'll tell you uh, uh, tap plastics and use plastics a uh, suggested product is um, weld on 3, along with a syringe now gluing clear pieces of plastic together is a little bit trickier than gluing your temp, your um your, the stuff that you can't see through. Because all that glue is going to show through. The clear stuff, you're either going to want to put a drop on there and smush these pieces together with a, and help hold them together with a clamp and make sure that you don't get a ring of glue um, that you can see. You want to make sure it touches all of the surface. Um, if you're not that good uh, right away, I would suggest getting in with the, with the, with the syringe. Here, here's, a, here's my leather needle I got up here. And going around the edges and gluing down just the edges. It's not as strong of a glue, but it's easier to do. Uh, and if it's just a decorative bit, it doesn't really matter too much. If you try and use other glues like super glues or even like 
white glues, of course, if you put a white glue between this, it's going to be, you're going to see right, you're going to see it right through this and you're going to see it. Uh, super glue eats at it and makes this kind of white fungus thing, so I wouldn't use super glue on this. I would only use the IPS number three, very specifically that, uh, on these. You can get away with it with uh, super glue on this kind of plastic because it, it's clear. Um, and I do use super glue when I'm trying to glue PVC to it because the the number three weld on only works from acrylic to acrylic. It doesn't work from acrylic to ABS. It doesn't work from acrylic to PVC. Um, and if it does, it doesn't work too well. So I stick with super glue on stuff that uh, is opaque, not translucent. What else is there? I'm trying not to run long like I did like the last two times. Um, I think I might cut it off. I mean, uh, that might be it. Um, thanks for your messages. I'm responding to them. Um, I still need suggestions for what kind of uh, project I'm going to do. I might save that till after async because I have stuff to do. Um, thanks for thumbs up. If you like what I'm doing, you think I'm crazy, got better materials, tell me all that in messages and PMs and all that. And thanks a lot to the person who has helped me put um, put my videos because I honestly have no idea what I'm doing. Um, and uh, I'll consider your idea that you wanted to see first because you helped me out. Anyway, um, this has been Cos Knives Cosper at number three, no, number nine. And um, thank you, good times to all.